Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we'll be taking a very good example on orthographic projection. The first thing you do when you hear the word orthographic correction is to draw your four cardinal points. By placing your T-square on your, your set-square on your T-square and you draw your vertical and horizontal line, right? So if I place it this way, I'm going to draw my vertical line, right? Can you see that? And I will draw my horizontal line this way. So this is my center point here. So this is my y axis and this is my x axis. Are we good? So you're going to take your set square and you will measure take 10 millimeter away from your set square. I mean 10 millimeter. From 0 to 1 is 10 millimeter, and um, you place at the center, you mark 10 up, you mark 10 down, you mark 10 left, and you mark 10 right. Are we good? Now, the next thing you do is to use your set square, moving on your T square this way, and you draw your vertical line. You draw your vertical line. And you come here also, you draw a vertical line. You come to the next point again, you move your T-square mm -hmm. to that point, and you draw your horizontal line at all those points. How good? So, this is the first step you do. Now you must do everything possible so that your line will not touch your X axis and Y axis. So what will you do? You can clean up all this place like this like this so you see it is three so this point here is your reference point you start your measurement from here start your measurement from here start a measurement from here now if you have done that now don't forget like i said in my last video this is the first quadrant here this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant this is your fourth quadrant so if I place my elevation here, it means I want to draw in my first quadrant. Now let's look at this diagram. Now if you look at this diagram here, if you look at this side, this is our elevation here at this angle here, look at where the arrow is pointing. So the total height of our elevation is what? 40. So I'll come here from this reference point here, I am going to measure 40. So I'm starting from 1. So from 1 to 5 is 40. Now, after doing that, I will now look for my total length. Now, what is my total length? My total length here, this is the length, is what? 18 plus 12, because they are all parallel. This side is parallel to this side, it's parallel to this side. Since I'm having my total length at the base here, I will look up, and I'm having 18 plus 12, and that is what? 30. So I'm going to measure 30. I will measure 30 from here, from the reference point here. I'll measure the 30. This is my 0 to 3 is 30. And I'll close it up. Take my t my set square, place on my t square and I'll raise it up. And I'll come here also. And I'm going to raise it up too. Are we good? So, this is a form a box. Let me enlarge this so you get what I'm trying to say. So, I form a box. Now, what you ask yourself now is this. From here to here, from here, from this point to this point, is this point to this point. And that is what? 18. From the beginning to here is what? 18. I'll measure my 18 from the beginning here. From here, which is where I'm pointing. Backward here, this is 18. How good? You measure from 0 to this point is 18. And I'm going to tick in this point because it's ticking there. Is that ticking? Now, if you notice here very well, if you notice here very well, you will discover that from here to here is 12 but it's not actually touching here it is sliding down right so the depth at which it is sliding down is what is 6 
So I'm going to measure six from here downward. So I measure six downward. So at this point here, I measure six downward. So let's measure the six downward from zero to this point here is my six. So I'm not going to join these two places together from here straight down to this point. I measure six downward. Are we good? Now the next thing we need to draw again is that from here to here is 18, right? But from this point here, from the beginning to this point here is another what? Another 18. So I'll measure my 18 from the beginning of here, right? So I'll measure 18. From here to here is 18. Oh good, and I'm going to thicken it. So I'll just take my faint line, like I'm taking it up gradually, from here to here. Right? So the next thing I'll do here again, is that, at this point here, to down point here is 15, which is the same point from here, down where, I'll measure 15. So I'll come here, I'm going to measure 15. So this is 0 to 1 is 10, and this is 15. So I'm going to thicken it. So thickening it, then I'll join this point because we are, if you take a diagram from here to here is joined to this point. So I'm going to join it to this point. Are we good? Now the next thing we'll do here is that from this point downward, it is giving us 6. Look at it very well. From this point downward is six. You see now this point to this point. So from here downward is six. So I'll measure six. So I'll come here. I'm going to measure six. From here downward, I'll measure six. This is my six here. Yeah? And I'll thicken it down. So I'm going to thicken it down from this point to this point. This is six right so the next thing we we'll do again is that we are taking it in again so look at it here it is being taken in again from here to here is six hmm? from here to here is what six and same as from here to here and from here to here they are all six so i'll take it in but first of all I'll use my t square to draw an a faint line and i'll now measure six from that point from this point here I'll measure six. This is a six here. So if I do that, I can now thicken it. Right? So I'll take my front line and I'll bring it down with my C square and T square. Those front line, since I'm not sure where it's heading to. Then after that, it's coming out again. The length from this point of six down is what? 12. Right? So I'm going to measure 12 downward. So I'm starting from 8. So from 8, this is 10, this is 11, and this is 12. Right? And I'll close it up. And I'm going to close it up. Oh, good. And I'll close here up too. And I'll close it up. Can you see that? I'll close it up. That is six here. So if you look at it, what else again I will add in? And that is all. Right? So I'm going to cover the rest part of it. So from here to here, I will close here to here. I'll come here. I'll close here to here. Now this is my elevation that we've gotten. So since it's at the second quadrant here, it means we want to draw a first angle projection, right? Now the next thing I will do here is to draw the plan because I told you the plan is always under the elevation or on top of the elevation. If the plan is under the elevation, it means we are drawing a first angle projection. So I will do. If you watch my last video, I explained all this. 
So what I'll do is I'll project all this point downwards. I'll project all this point downward. All these points downward. I will draw them downward. Project all this point downward. Right? So what I'll do is in the elevation we are dealing with height and length. But in the plan, we are dealing with width and length. So the width is just the same. So from here, I'm going to thicken from this point straight down here. That is my width here. My length. So what is the width? The width is given as um, 40. I mean 28. So the width here is given as 28. So from here to here is our width. Which intersect from here to here, which intersect from here to here, and from here to here, they're all the same. So it's what 28. So I'll measure my 28 downward. So from this point, measure 28, 10, 20. Then we have uh, 28 here, right? This 28 here, and I'm going to close it up. So this is what I'm having. Now, if you are looking at it from the top here, you are going to see this point, right? So you're taking it here. You're taking it here. See there, you're taking it here. All good. Now, if you look here too, you see here too, you're also taking here too. So you draw an imaginary line, and you're taking this point here. Are we good? Now if you come here, from the top, in between, there is this curve here. You cannot see it from the top, right? So here will now be a hidden line. Your hidden line should be evenly spaced and equal. Are we good? Then here, you see here too, looking from the top. And you just draw a line to cover it up. So this is... And here also, if you are looking from the top, you cannot see here. I mean, so you put your heading line to show where you cannot see. So this is our plan. You can do from the top. Now the next thing we we'll do here, so we we'll successfully drawn our plan. Now the next thing we want to do is to draw our end view. And I told you earlier that the end view is always in front or behind the elevation. The front view is not always in front or behind the plan, but always in front and behind the elevation. So how will I do? I'll place my 45 degree set square on my T-square. You place your T -square, 45 degree set square on your T-square and you move it to this center point here. This center point here. Right? Let me show you this center point here. This center point here. And you draw a straight line downward this way. Mm -hmm. So, this is the line you draw. All you do, you project your line to that point. So, you project all your lines to that point. This to this. And you project it up also. Now, project it up. So, the end view will be here. Now, also, you project this one up too. It's meeting it and going up. This one, all these points will be taking it to touch this. 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 So if you are done, you now use your C square and put those guys together. Because looking at it from the front, I like showing you so you see what I'm trying to talk about. If you are looking at it from the front here, from this front, hmm, you'll be seeing all these four corners here, up to down. You see here, you see here, you see here, you see here. So what I will do here is, I will just take my set square and I will increase it from here to here. I move it to this point too. I will increase it from here to here. Then I'll close it up. 
close it up here come to the ending here i will also close it up because if you are looking at it from here you see here i'm closing here up you see here too i'm closing here up too you see here too i'm closing here up too now what you will not see here looking at it from here you will not see this point here so i'll use my hidden line here long short long 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 that's my hidden line you see here too i'll use my line to draw and that is what we have here. so this is the first angle projection so it's the the elevation the end view and the plan. So thanks for watching. We'll meet now in the next video again.